Hey everyone, Johnny on Nose here playing some Project Zomboid version 37 with Hydrocraft. And as you can see, we are back in Moldera with our little fleet of vehicles here. Um, I came, brought everything back and uh, put everything that was in the pickup truck into the uh, military transport. Then we got everything in here. This thing is completely full, filled up. We, all these vehicles are really full. The other thing I noticed was that now the power and the water has been turned off. So all that free gas we were getting, this is it, folks. That's all we can, that, I mean, it seemed really OP and easy and, and now it's gone. So we are back to uh, looting the old fashioned way. Well, not, maybe not necessarily old fashioned way, but, um, oh, that reminds me. I should totally look for some duct tape here. Where did I, I don't even know where anything is in this thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's all together though. Let's find some duct tape. Got the calculators. <laughs> like my eyes go, oh, there's some duct tape or there's some calculators. All right, so let's do craft duct tape pouch. Gonna grab or make two of those. Craft a duct tape pouch. Boom. All right, put the rest of the duct tape in there. Then we're gonna take the bags off of the dog. Just gonna make sure there's nothing in there. Dog. Remove the dog. Okay, and add duct tape pouches to hiking bag. Okay. Oh, I need I, I need two more. I need two additional ones. Okay, so let's make some more. Alrighty. Add the second one, and now the dog can carry. Should be like 64, 65. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. All right, let's rename him to. Let's rename him to a pack dog. Doggy. That way, I, I make sure there's an A there because he's always so that way he's always at the top of the inventory list just in case I have to like put him down or not put him down. But you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right. So it is now uh, July 22nd. Um, let's see what our weight is. 66 gaining, which is good. And our strength is almost a two. So what we're going to do in this episode is um, we're going to have to do uh, some looting the old fashioned way. We're actually going to have to walk to places. But the good thing is, we got this dog to be able to hold 65 kilos worth of stuff. And we really shouldn't... We really shouldn't be looting that much. But what we need to focus on is dismantling things. And that includes, like, carpentry items, uh, electrical items, as well as um, any metal items that we can find. And the best place to dismantle those type of items, especially the metal ones, are at any of the kind of like the restaurant areas um, like the motel is also another good spot let's go see if they've got a nice bit of uh, shelving in the back here well I got two of them I'm still keeping my eyes off for uh, what's causing p guys to fall down or not got another machete nice I'm now using the machete. I got a couple of uh, survival axes, but I'll, I'll use the sh machete a little bit too. Come on out, guys! Come on out! Alright, they're not falling down. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's just random, because um, earlier I was I was trying to push someone down, and I must have pushed him down like or pushed at him about 15 times, and he didn't go down. Ooh, there's another one of those. Yeah, so all this stuff can be dismantled. Let's just make sure that we're clear. Uh, including all the garbage cans. Let's have a little bit of mint candy. That's, that sounds delicious. Let's start grabbing some more garbage cans, too. All right. Uh, yep, that's a good point. I'm going to go grab a uh, propane tank. I'll be right back. A propane torch, not a propane tank. And look at all these zombies that are in here now. All right. Go finish these guys off. Come on. Don't stop. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. There we go. And the more I stab, the less skill I'm getting, so I'm gonna try to refrain from stabbing too much. Come on, get two. Ah, I only got one. The interesting thing about the uh, machete is it tends to not knock down zombies as often as the survival knight or the survival axe does. I'm gonna start collecting beta blockers too. Very important for when we start shooting up everything. Which is going to be a lot easier with Hydrocraft, because we'll be able to make our own bullets. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. That's I think that's gonna be like the first industrial industrial thing that I'm gonna be working on. 
We're gonna keep grabbing some water every time we see it too. Uh, each one of these items holds like uh, three units worth of um, let's see, three units worth of water. All right, put this in our main inventory. Now the only thing, only thing that's wrong with uh, metalworking dismantling is that we actually need both hands for both the um, the torch and the mask. Is kind of silly because you're wearing the mask, aren't you? But anyways, uh, so yeah, we have to put down the dog. I keep saying put down the dog. I need a counter for how many times I say that. And did I read the book for metalworking? Let me see. I might not have. No, I didn't. So yeah, that's something we're gonna have to remedy. And as you can see from all the um, dismantling we did over at the um, at the uh, train yard, uh, we were actually able to get almost halfway through uh, to electrical level one. Which is nice. Alright, let's see. Mmm. I'm not really sure I should be dismantling unless I have everything written up, but... Uh, this is also metalworking. Yeah, let me go and, uh, ooh, a hunting knife. Nice. Beautiful. Ah, that in my main bag. But yeah, let me go ahead and read the metalworking book really quick. <laughs> That's what I get for, uh... Not being fully prepared, I had to drive all the way back over here, so I was like, yeah, I'm happy. Alright, so let me, um, let me go read the metalworking book real quick, and we'll be back. Alright, we're back once again, the next morning, 23rd of July. Uh, let's see, so I don't think I can dismantle any of these things, or any, oh, I can dismantle the counters. Go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna just start throwing some stuff in my main bag, because we're gonna need to be... A metal box is good. Because we're going to need to be swapping out inventory. So I don't want to loot too much, but if I find something important like vinegar or battery, definitely going to pick it up. Paper bag. Lunch bag. All right, so I'm only going to do this once for you guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me disassemble stuff. So what I'm going to do is every time I walk into a building uh, and I clear it, I saw my main inventory too. Gosh. Be overburdened. Uh I'll clear a building of all zombies and and I'll just start dismantling. And if a zombie attacks me while I'm dismantling, I will uh go ahead and, and bring the uh you know, I'll I'll continue the video. But for the time it takes, oh my god, that was so quick for carpentry. That music scared me all of a sudden. Oh, we got some zombies coming. Let's get them. So dismantling uh, makes the same amount of noise that carpentry does, so if you don't have the whole area cleared out, uh, you're going to be making some noise that's going to bring zombies your way. But I think that was it, just the one. So for instance, like these, um, these good old uh, dumpsters, going to have to metalwork those things to death too. Do the same thing I always do, hold down right click. And spin around like an idiot. And we're probably gonna have a lot of unusable metal, unusable wood, all that good stuff. So it looks like I have to read the next carpentry book. So let me go ahead and do that then. Alright, carpentry book is all read. Uh, it's now July 24th. I think we're gonna go through a lot of days in this episode. Um, the good thing is, is you know, the power's off now, so it doesn't really matter too much to us how many days we spend doing stuff, other than the fact that I, we have to worry a little bit about, you know, like the winter coming, it makes makes uh, farming a little bit tougher. But um, I'm going to keep disassembling, and uh, I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, that's all disassembled. Let's see what we got. We're uh, almost uh, like a quarter of the way through uh, Carpentry Level 4. And uh, we got a level of metalworking too, or kind of, uh, let's say a quarter through level two there. Oh wow, there were zombies right here. That's so funny. All right, hopefully I'll find something to eat in this uh, restaurant nearby. The good thing about this is that I'm continuously um, overloaded here, which is gonna slowly build up our, our uh, strength, which is what we need desperately right now. Let's see what we're at after all that disassembling. Oh my God. Oh, sideways. Wow, we're almost to level two. Very good. All right, let's see what these zombies got on them. Should really, uh... What do we get for this? We get a, uh... get a medium battery, or do we get a regular battery? I think we get a regular battery. 
which isn't used for very much. Like the medium, small, and large batteries definitely are used for quite a bit. Um, looks like this dog is a little... No, it's just 0.4. I think this flashlight. All right, cool. Now we're moving nice and smoothly. All right, let's go ahead and clear out this uh, restaurant here. And I think another place I want to search around here is the, the police station because we still haven't found a um, still haven't found a fireman's hat yet. And those cans are useful. Oh, the, the the big bottles are useful for later at the uh, science stuff. We also need to be prepared for any uh, alarms that go off too. Hear it. There's zombies though. Here they come. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Wow, that was close. That was close. Like a millisecond away from getting scratched or bitten. Goodness. Alright, nothing here. So disassembling, as you can probably surmise from my <laughs> the experience just in this episode alone, it is a very dangerous endeavor. There is... Oh, Walkie talkie. I just don't want to pick up too much stuff here. I don't want to loot all that much. Maybe get some food and stuff, but maybe that will help if I get a little bit of food in me here. I got some of that, some of this. Oh, aluminum here. Good. Grab that. I I have a tendency of overlooting and getting way too much stuff. Like I'm so used to having like storage all ready to go, like my my little BS box that I can just kind of throw everything into. God, get vinegar again, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this area out real quick. Yeah, let me go kill the zombies. You guys like watching me kill zombies, I would I would imagine. And then I'll do all that junk you were just watching me do. Because I'm going to try my best not to loot as much. But another thing I'm doing, just to uh, give you a hint on um, kind of preparing yourself for later stages of uh, good old mine or Minecraft, <laughs> Nitrocraft, is uh, any um, any doorknobs that you find, you want to grab those because those can recycle down uh, into bronze. So that's a very important uh, metal if you are going to want to make a ton of uh, bullets, which I would imagine you would want to. We got some food in here too, so I'm going to go eat all this food in a mocha cru cruller. And I'm going to go ahead and disassemble everything that I can in here. Alright, there's uh, Carpentry level 4. In one episode, we've already gotten uh, three levels of Carpentry. We're going to even get even more of it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and read the Carpentry book. And uh, I may have to uh, sleep for the night, so another night will go by. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so it is now uh, July 25th. And uh, I had forgotten to take down this door here, so I, I went and grabbed that. And uh, I'm going to keep uh, disassembling this place here. Uh, now that we are charged up and ready to go for level 5 and 6 of Carpentry. So yeah, <laughs> sorry, there's a lot of cuts in this in this particular episode. As soon as, you know, the good old grind starts, this is kind of how it's going to go for a little while. I, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me right-click stuff and and yeah. So, I'm going to keep skipping, and uh, I'll be back as soon as something interesting happens. Alright, there's level 6. <laughs> oh, carpentry. How easy you are now. Don't want to say that too loud. We may uh, adjust it. It's nice that carpentry is easy again. I mean, you could easily just saw a bunch of planks and whatnot to, uh, to get that skill, but... I don't know, disassembling is just so much more fun. Is it's like free nails. I mean, not that nails are a big deal anymore. Uh, like before, it was like, God, I would have loved to have found like two or three nails here or there. Just collecting all my nails that I uh, threw on the ground over here. All right, cool. So let's um, <laughs> once again, gonna go ahead and uh, actually, I'm gonna sleep for the night first, and then I'll read the carpentry book. Whoa, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh. All right, it is now July 27th. I think we're going to go through a whole week in one episode here. So let's keep on moving north. And I think I may be done with the restaurant. Oh, 
We actually had a gunshot go off uh, that brought a couple zombies this way, so I'm kind of... Oh, you know what? I haven't actually done the uh, Quickie Mart yet. Hearing a lot of them. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to clear this area before we do any uh, disassembling. Small bag of trash. Gonna have to look out for- start looking out for those. I don't have a junkyard yet, but... I will soon- oh yeah, there's tons of stuff to, uh, to disassemble in here. Just gonna have to clear these guys out. Guess that was it. You know what I think happened was, as I was driving back from the train station, so I had to go, like, all the way north, like, where the northern, um, like, where the northern warehouse is up there to actually get back from the train station, the main street did not look populated at all. Like, I think what we did with the... Can I disassemble these? I can. Cool. Um, what I think happened was when we uh, drove off into the distance, when the helicopter came by, it moved a lot of those zombies that nor are normally on Main Street into the forest. So, it's actually a really nice, safe time to be able to do this sort of thing. So, I think that's all of them. Can I disassemble these? I sure can. Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna take another look to see, do a little sprinting, see if I hear any, hear any that hear me, and then we'll go ahead and disassemble this whole place. All right, there's level two metalworking. <laughs> I'm gonna have to read and sleep and all that good stuff. July 27th. I wonder if we're gonna make it into uh, August in this episode. I woke up with a panic. Guess she's not liking uh, sleeping in the military transport anymore. All right, so it is now <laughs> July 28th, and uh, we are um, halfway through carpentry level seven. I'm kind of hoping I can do all all of carpentry in one episode. That'd be pretty cool. So it's only been 48 minutes on my clock. Uh, I've obviously edited out a lot of stuff for you guys. But, um, yeah, so metalworking's ready to go again. Let's go ahead and throw the book inside and grab the next book. Oh, gotta put it in the right spot, Johnny. I've been noticing that I'm, I'm putting books into the truck rather than the beetle. I don't know why I'm doing that. So we want uh, metalworking for intermediates. Here it is. I feel like we have all the books, guys. I don't, we only went to one, one bookstore. But, hey, all right. Let's, um, let's see. I think we, I still have some more work to do in the, um, the Quickie Mart here in the, the gasoline, gasoline place. Jesus. The gas station. Let's go ahead and disassemble a couple more things in the gas station. That's what I want to say. There we go. All right. See you guys later. All right. Looks like we're all done with the uh, gasoline place, as I called it. Let's head north, and I think what we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to probably hit the police station. Like, I really want to get car all the carpentry in one episode, but eh, it's, I think I'm pushing it a little bit. I, I can't really gauge exactly how long this episode's going to be based on the fact there's so much cutting and editing going on. Now this place is all cleaned out. Look at all these planks. The good thing is, is all the stuff that I could have looted is actually just sitting right here so that when we have the space for it, I'll just grab a cereal. I'll mac and cheese as well. Let me let me grab one of those just for later. And um, it makes it really easy that it, like, I know that these things are on the ground and I can just swing on by and I can easily see all the stuff at once rather than having to go through each container. Makes it really nice and easy. Like those frying pans, I'm definitely going to come back for those when I'm in the mood for frying pans. Let's head on further north. And see what we're gonna see here. We're getting closer to like kind of the strip mall area, so there's a lot more, uh, a lot more zombies in that area. Police station tends to have a lot of guys there too. Yeah, here they are. As you can see, the popul the zombie population in this general area is really low. That move with the truck and the helicopter from earlier really helped out. Come on, swing low. Ah, missed it. Swing low. All right, anything in those guys? Nope. 
Nope, nobody nope. Check this Jeep real quick. Any, uh, any gas cans we can find would be great. All right, nothing there. All right, let's go ahead and clear out this police station. But man, look how few zombies there are in this area. Normally this area is just crawling with them. If all those zombies are stuck in the forest, that's a great thing for us. We have plenty of time to disassemble all the stuff in kind of the kind of the main street area. I mean, it's still pretty thick near the motel, which is another great place to disassemble because it has like rows and rows of those metal um, those metal cabinets. <clears throat> not to mention that, you know, it's it's not like we're gonna be able to walk into these places with an alarm going off. So that is a possibility too. Just checking for any in there before I start killing. Uh, not a great thing to have my back against the fence. Go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of room. Start killing! <clears throat> Three down. Oh. These two on the ground. There we go. Unamas! Alright, get in the flashlight. Dollar bills, empty water bottle, nothing too snazzy. I was hoping I could disassemble these fences, but that's too bad. Because you can't disassemble the large wooden fences that are um, in in the map from the get-go. They're considered a scrappable object, which is nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna loot this police station and then I'll call it an episode, because like I said, I'm currently at 55 minutes recorded, but um, I'm not exactly sure how much um, much actual you know, footage there is in that 55 minutes. Go ahead and dis disassemble this door. The doorknob. And let's see what happens when we walk into the threshold. Nope. No alarm. Great. Good, good, good. Yeah, disassemble these lockers. Ooh, hockey mask. That's pretty sick. I just want to keep that, just because it's awesome. Uh, nope, can't disassemble that, but I can dis disassemble a sports bench. I really should clear this place before I start disassembling. I'm just like, I want to get that carpentry skill. Alright. More nails. Good thing is, is uh, carpentry goes quick, and that's the only other thing that um, takes up, you know, two inventory slots when you're disassembling things. I guess you need the hammer and the saw together, or the hammer or and the um, the screwdriver too. All right, stop disassembling, Johnny. I'll disassemble Johnny Five. Now look at all this stuff we can get with uh, metalworking. Now, uh, if you're trying to focus down metalworking, um, I think what I did was I, um, I disassembled a um, a dumpster and that thing gave me like almost half a level on level three so definitely take a look out for those uh, dumpsters assemble office desks okay so it looks like this place is pretty clear let's break our way into the um break our way into the storage area here have to use an axe for that I mean you don't have to use an axe for that I mean you can use like a survival axe let me see if I have a survival axe it's about to, about to break uh, there we go use this one Choppy choppy. It's funny though, the survival axe feels like you break things down faster because you're actually swinging a lot faster. This would have been a good time to use a, um, a hammer because I do need uh, some some blunt maintenance if I want to be able to build some of those hammers while we're blacksmithing. Right, we'll go with the uh, survival axe for now. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, fire fire hat! Nice! Yes! Yes! Okay, cool. That's good. That's gonna be a little bit better. Now is the... yeah, so I guess the, the welding mask is considered a hat. It's not like there's like a face slot or anything like that, but let's go ahead and grab some bullets. Uh, I'm gonna go into looting mode here. Let's get the dog back. A pack doggy. Hey, pack doggy. Any bullets? Shotgun, any... Uh, yep, choke to tube improved? The choke tube. Hobe. Alright, quad armor, don't need. Can I disassemble that? No, I can't. 
a lot of stuff that you can make with metalworking that you can't actually disassemble. 308s, and that's it. That is all that we can find in here. A little, it's a little meh. But we did get a uh, a fireman's hat, which is nice. I was really hoping for a uh, fire jacket too, because that would at least get us to the point where we can start using the smelter. Um, we'll still take a lot of burns, um, but taking burns is nice because then you can work on your uh, first aid too. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this door down with a hammer just so that I get a little bit of uh, maintenance skill. Let me see if I can turn it. Yeah, there we go. Speed that up. Not a great idea to do, by the way. There we go. But I was able to, oh God. Whoa, goodness gracious. Did I get hit? Yeah, I got hit. Wow, that's my first hit. My first hit. I'm all, I'm all like, Wah! I'm all freaked out. Wow, that was nice. That was, that was nice. Ah. Oh. Use the hammer. What happens? You get a little too comfortable. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get bit. All right. So, got more in there. Wow, it was really close. I'm really surprised I didn't hear them banging on the door after me banging on the door. It was interesting. All right. Let's break down this door with a hammer. Like I said, not smart. There we go. All right. So we're going to rest here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this whole place and then we'll start the next episode. So hopefully I, I've recorded an hour. Hopefully this isn't the longest friggin video ever, but but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So this is uh, Johnny O'Nose playing Project Zomboid version 37 with Hydrocraft. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I will catch you all in the next episode.